Today we're making carciofi alla romana. Carciofi alla romana, also known as Roman style artichokes, are these gorgeous, I mean, look at this. Flowers. They're flowers. I mean, better a bouquet of this than a bouquet of flowers. <laughs> And um, we're gonna follow the recipe that our grandmother used to make because our grandmother was, she wasn't. She wasn't a great cook. No, no. But, but, but she made great, great carciofi alla romana. The recipe is extremely simple. Vale. I have never, oh, I have no idea how you clean an artichoke, Benny. I'll, I'll assist you today. I'll assist you, but please let's go run through the ingredients. Yes, of course. You need lemons, black pepper, artichokes, extra virgin olive oil, and um, garlic. Did you set the table? What did I do? Salt. Oh, salt. <laughs> you see? Anyways, I'm so I'm gonna put gloves on because as much as I love artichokes, they are literally my favorite food in the world. They stain your hands. Salt. So, or you like have, or you massage your hands in lemon all the time. If not, gloves. Are you gonna do it? Do what? No, you tell me, like if I have to pour things here, I don't have gloves. So I won't give you your gloves. No. I, I bought two knives. No, 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 thank you. That was very, very kind of you. So, I mean, first of all, now it's artichoke season first. And they're just gorgeous, they're beautiful. However, you have to get rid of the hard part. So you hear the snap? So go until you get rid of you might think that you're wasting a lot, but you're not. So get it out and she says I'm a messy person, which I am maybe. Creative, let's say. <laughs> so you go until it snaps, you mm -hmm. see? Okay. Mom is very good at with now, artichokes. You see them? Now this has to fit in this and it has to close. So for now you cut here. Then this is the best stock. part. So we're gonna be cleaning this. Then with a knife, what you wanna do is... You peel, so you peel the stalk out. Cause look, if you look at the stalk, there's a white heart surrounded by green. You wanna save the white heart. So you just have to get rid of the, um, of the green part. Carciofi alla romana probably are less known than the more famous carciofi alla Judea, the Jewish style artichokes. Those are fried. They are absolutely not that easy to make. No, because it's got like a double fry at two it's, temperatures. It's, yeah, it's something that it's great when you have it at the restaurant. <laughs> this is like more of a home, this is a homey, homey thing. thing. And they're really easy to make because once you, oh, you know what you can do in the meantime? You can cut the lemon in half, squeeze the juice, and put it water in there. Because the lemon? Because the lemon helps um, avoid oxidation. And so they're not gonna go I add water, like yes. this water is for here. If you want, then you're gonna have, you're gonna need it. Now there's various techniques, but I'm gonna show you how I do it, because I think it needs. There. Yes, you're supposed to carve them around like that, but we'll have mom do an episode on that. I think I need more water, no? No, it's okay. And after it's done, you just toss it in there, and you I'm forget it. it. Oh, and and, uh, and then we'll start with number two. You see how it's just, it just sits in there. How many are you gonna make? Three. Three. Two for me and one for I you. I was gonna say that, two for <laughs> me and one for you. <laughs> no, I love artichokes. I mean, they're also, well, we're teaching you to do it this way now. So you get rid of the, the dark part here. Oh, you know what you can do in the meantime, since you're not doing absolutely anything? Oh, yes. You can, so, okay, so Roman style artichokes, they come with a, a, a herb called mintuccia, which is not like mint. This was literally, the guy gave it to me this morning at the market. He got it from his field, so there's still, well, it's, it's, it's wild mint. Wild mint. So if you can select a whole bunch of leaves, and then you chop them up 
And then you take... Um, just uh, the leaves. Just the leaves. And then you do the same with the garlic and then you can chop it up. Oh, that's such a big responsibility, Benny. Move. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get... And then I'll, I'll show you why it's important. Benny, you're, you're like totally... Look. No, you I can mean, go You can go on that, that side. You chop here. And here? Do you want this? Whatever. This is like not my space. <sighs> Fine, then let's move. Benny, so you told me I have to get the leaves. Like so a that lot. a lot, yes, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna chop up uh, the ventuccia with garlic, salt, and pepper, and then we're going to fill in the heart of the artichoke with this mixture, and then we're gonna mm. cook it. Oh, this reminds me. Now um, I bought a little plant here in case that's not this enough. This just reminds me of our childhood in Umbria. Mm. Remember, because we had so many of this in. Because this grows spontaneously. Just, yes, this really feels like home. Okay, last one. Like that? Like more? Yes, but we have to fill up three artichokes. You see, this is not my sort of thing. Now she's pointing to weighing 75 grams of eggs. Three grams of salt. Let's see, here you just go. Because every country has its more. How many grams do we need? <laughs> A hundred. <laughs> oh, che pazienza. Okay, let me. Okay. Perfect. Are you done? Yeah, you're completely useless. <laughs> I need like more clear. Instructions, Benny, not just a bunch. <laughs> you need a bunch. Let me. I bought a little plant here. I need to, di like, this has to go, like, diced? You have to chop it up. Chop. This is, we had this country house, countryside house in Umbria, which is the region right by Tuscany. And it, we had so much of this in our garden. I'll peel it, okay? Because I have never ever made this. I've just had it when grandma used to prepare it. Oh, they're so good. And you just eat it now when it's artichoke season. So if you come here in summer and they give you Roman style artichokes, that's. And frosted. you can have this. Do you peel this? Yeah. It's, um, you can have it either hot or cold. Whatever temperature, you can prepare it and then you just eat it at room temperature. like. Yeah, room temperature cold. Yeah, room temperature cold. You eat it like that. You can eat it as a side dish. Mm -hmm. You can, if you have leftover after you've ate so many, you can also smash it up and, and use it in a pot. La basta, how many garlics? I don't know. You, you just, just need an exact amount. <laughs> <laughs> in Rome, like Romans, they're, they're, so, funny. they're so funny. So when, when you don't have quantities, which would something that drives her crazy because she's a uh, pastry chef. Yeah. What is it that they say? They say that you go like as, as a sentimento, what as, is it? Like how you feel, like how, how much, feel, like how much, how much do you feel you should have? So it's like, whatever. So if you're, if you're really into garlic, then, you know, really exaggerate. If you're not, then, so then, okay, we mix together. Did you put salt and pepper? I am about to put salt and pepper, put salt. That's pepper. Put, I mean, you put salt. <laughs> I put pepper. Okay, now this is done. Now we're gonna put a little bit of salt for the table. For the table? You'll see. A little pepper for the table. Okay, now pass me an artichoke. Now, you could open it nicely like this, or if you're like me, you just go like this. Oh, that is cool. And you see how it opens up? Then, now these are these are per, these are like this is in, they're in season now. So inside there is there is none of that hairy little fur. You can, if you want, like pull out some of the leaves, and then you take part of this. Okay. You stuff it inside. Mm, that's so cool. And for the table, because you do this, so you dress the artichoke on the outside. Clever. I know. Benny. And then you put it upside down in the pan. And we go with another one. That's so smart. I'm surprised. 
I'm a woman full of resources. <laughs> Stuff it in. I'll do the other one. I'll go. For so the table. Gonna My hands are going to get black. But then I, I go like that. Gently. Yay. You have to open it. You don't have to destroy it. <laughs> that was like a stress relief. <laughs> well, but it still looks good. Look, it, looks it has beautiful. a lot of space now. <laughs> go fill it up. Now the stalks, do not throw them away. You just peel them until you get the white. Then you just chop them up and you put them inside. Look at mine, it's perfect. Look, three is the perfect number. Okay, now, stop tidying up, I need. So now all we're gonna use is olive oil and water. This is the amount? Yes, half a glass of olive oil and... Um, and do you think it could be also useful if we like turn this on? That would be very useful, yes. Oh gosh, this is going to take ages. Wait. Oh gosh, he wants a dry finger. No, Vale, you, you have to turn this on first. This is the... No, because... Oh no, this one first. It has to unlock. There. And two of water, you said? Yes. And then you leave it low fire for about half an hour. And you Check on it. Oh, no, no, no. I, I don't turn it, no. And, and you cover it. You leave it covered. So, or you put a lid on it or you put some aluminum foil over. I would put aluminum foil. Let's put aluminum foil. Yes. Why? Just because. <sighs> Didn't grandmother use aluminum she foil? She always used aluminum foil. That's why. Okay. Now you see this one's a little bit, because also a lid, if, there's, if they sort of stick out of the pan, yeah. doesn't matter. Look how beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cute, huh? Cutie, cutie, cutie. There you go. And now you forget about them for about half an hour and then you do check. To check if they're done, you take a little fork or, or a knife and you just you poke in the center, like to feel like if potatoes are done. Well, the same we're gonna, thing. Once they're cooked, you can show it. Yes, once they're cooked, I can show it. And we're gonna clean up this mess. Okay. Right. I think it's done. I think it's time, right? So while I uncover, I'll go get forks, plates, and a knife. Look at this. Share, Benny. Let's share. Wow. I, I think I see the one that I smashed. <laughs> yes. I think I noticed it. You I noticed? recognized it. Okay, let's turn, turn off. this off. A spoon? Could be. No, I think now. I would like to show you how beautiful they are. You're welcome. <laughs> this one that's all broken is the one that she smashed. Here, put it here. Here, put it here. Go. I do it? Yes. A lot of, okay. Look at this. You see? Some versions call for a little bit of white wine also inside with the with the oil and the and the water. Mm. This. And this is oh right. You all this is like one serving. Well, uh, two. No, this is one serving. Yeah. But we're sisters now, so we're gonna share it. We share. For, for the sake of, of the thing, but if not, I would eat. I think this is one for serving. <laughs> That's your one serving, three. Wait, don't start eating it yet. I want wow. to show the beauty of it. It's now, this is really hot. You can see all the smoke coming out, but leave, leave it to cool. I'm not gonna leave it to cool, I'm gonna eat it. No, now you can eat it. Ah. I mean, we are, but usually it's good even if you leave it white if you leave it cold. This is my favorite part of the artichoke. I love it. It's caldo. Mm. It's on the fire. We're gonna be sharing the recipe in the description below. 
Bailey, please continue. <laughs> I was burning my mouth. And uh, remember to subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. And there's a little bell. Click on it and you'll get notified every time one of our new wonderful recipes come out. Mm -mm. Now we're going to enjoy this artichoke. Ha detto che erano speciali. Sono proprio buoni. Grazie. Aia.